Hey Rogers, welcome back to another vlog. It's a Tuesday and I'm about to do a errand run. Epic proportions. Seven stops. Um, library, dropping some leftover of that cake off to friends, etc. So yeah, I hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome to another video and I hope you enjoy this one. Nelson went this morning. I'm the most sad I've ever been, to be honest. Um, he's just so affectionate and so sweet. More so than he ever has been before, so. Hopefully the family go on holiday again this year sometime. Or for like two weeks, you know. It's, it's not a little tease at the heartstrings, it's a proper pull. No, um, <laughs> it's just an ample amount of time. That means at the end of it you're got to know him as a, a bud you're living with. Anyway, I'm gonna head. Dream. Hey honey bunches, it's Thursday. I've had a day full of cooking. I don't have exactly anything to show for it because some stuff setting and marinating, marinating doing its thing. Um, and I will cook it up, take the pictures, etc. tomorrow. But I had some success. Well, they're all successes because I'm just cooking it to film it. But I did a first time round um, gamble and it paid off with some vegan crepes you wouldn't know are gluten free whoa and they're gonna go into a chocolate ganache crepe cake it's a very pinterest recipe which i've had my eye on since i don't know early pinterest days i guess um have wanted to make a vegan version and then obviously a gluten free version since needing to go gluten free so i'm quite confident that that will turn out the ganache tastes fab um and there's going to be some like whipped coconut cream on it as well i think that video will come out after this so very exciting um i listened to a lot of podcasts one which was talking about design and bad design and it was talking about how all sorts of bad design is seriously like the root of the problem of pollute a lot of pollution and um waste and it's just like depressing that there's so much bad design out there classic example is like plastic water bottle but things companies just making products whether it's like an iphone a kettle or a toaster or whatever designed <laughs> so that it kind of or perhaps who knows who knows what goes on in those big buildings where big decisions are made um but the parts themselves of those gadgets aren't flawless in design so it might be just one little piece that breaks down which causes the whole thing to in the eyes of the consumer to be broken and so they chuck it out and buy another one and then we're left up left with millions of toasters and kettles and computers and iPhones and all that mm. makes me think like early YouTube vegan days of not hating on if you fit this demographic slender white blonde girls on the beach it's like we need talking about veganism and sort of what it, encapsulates sustainability thinking about the earth's resources 
we need so many people to be vegan, not just the skinny blonde girls who um, take pictures of themselves in bikinis on beaches. Again, not hating if you're that, or you've done that, or you'd like to do that, all G. But we need designers to be thinking that way, and economists, and bright minds, because it's such a big problem, and it's really depressing. I was reading, um, is it Jesse Eisenhower, that actor, a movie he's in, um, with Alexander Skarsgård, about two people who do something which brings in a lot of money, I can't remember, but I just read a small passage of it, and he was saying, like, he thinks the... Okay, I was trying to find the article, but I can't, but, um, essentially, like, people like Mark Zuckerberg, like, those sorts of tech people who just, um, dream up ideas, whether they're tech-related or whatnot, and they bring in a lot of money, um, they need to be the people, like, figuring out the world's problems, or at least, like, global warming problem, because it's just, like, so much potential, yet directed at the wrong thing. Um, so true. I mean, we've all got a part to play, but it's not like we don't have the skills, we just don't have the direction. Hmm. Yeah, I hope that made sense. <laughs> Hey honey bunches, I've had another superb cooking day, um, ate the crepe cake on a little <laughs> sneak peek. Tastes hand down, hands down as good as it looks. I'm very excited, just a bit pooped. <laughs> if my expression's not showing it, um, perfect level of sweetness, holds up really well, quite straightforward to assemble and everything so Winner! <laughs> also, I really should have put the link to the Spotify playlist with all those groovy tunes that I was talking about. I have made a, uh, a playlist on my Spotify, which is just Honey Bunch of Onion Tops, but I'll put the link to the playlist down below because, yes, they are quite groovy and I have assembled, I did do a little search and compile my faves and am adding to it continually. So I will put that in the description box this time for all of you who asked in the last vlog. Hey honey bunches, it's Sunday morning. Whoops, I don't know if there's enough for a weekly vlog this week. I haven't picked up the camera. So I've been doing lots of cooking um, for recipes and stuff. And then I just don't want to include it in this one because then we double up. Although a lot of you are probably like, it's fine. But anyway, <laughs> that's my detail orientated, paranoid uh, side of me coming out. Gotta be original content for each video. Um, I've been watching so much Outlander. Last night I finished season three, and though even though season four is not on Netflix, I may have bought it on off the iTunes. <laughs> I just love Lord John Gray. Oh, such a good storyline. Oh, she was in it more. He's just he's got like a heart of a golden retriever and the head of an owl. He's the I guess gay character who has a crush on Jamie. Then he raises Jamie's son. That one. Um, the actor's Australian, fun fact. But I just really, I really like it because it makes me think of how, um, if Hollywood, like, I mean, you say Hollywood, but like mainstream storytelling, um, film or TV want to like get diversity right, they've got to expand from the like classic ho Hollywood narrative of like monogamy and, um, the guy always getting the girl because that's not like a model that you can transpose, um, onto like gay characters, for example in the 18th century. You can't do a drama that is fitting in the historical period of that time um, for certain minorities because it just wasn't their reality. So you've got to broaden that and even though it's <laughs> so frustrating that um, in my eyes Jamie and Lord John can't you know have at least one night to give him some love of in his life because it's so tragic um, and he's so kind. It is on the side of historical accuracy even if the show has so many layers that are like unbelievable. Time travel, the amount of times the characters nearly die, etc. <laughs> Jamie remembering Claire's like cycle, um, like he has it in his mind um, and so he's the first one to realise that she's with child in the end of the second season. So not um, believable for a Scottish Highlander in like a wartime as well. 
also Jamie is like totally chill with the um, Lord John Grey having a crush on him. Well, he's not totally okay with it, but he's not. He's still like his friend and he even like offers his body to him in exchange for looking after his child. I feel like that's a bit, a, a bit unbelievable. Just, just a bit. <laughs> They're not complaining. Such a great show. Although Outland's taken over my life a bit at the moment. So many stories um, on the go. Handmaid's Tale, Outlander, book I'm reading. Happy days though. <laughs> I'm gonna edit this video now, end the vlog. Hope it comes together or something, but I have lots of great other serious recipes. I think I have like nearly 10 in the various um, videos I've edited this week, so. Delish content coming up. I hope you're well and I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video super soon. Bye guys.